Mostanda, if you hate John Mostanda, if you hate John Mostanda, wow, if you hate John Mostanda, if you hate John Mostanda. <laughs> Liverpool at home, probably, in my opinion, especially in the last couple of weeks and months, the best side in the world. Everyone's talking about the quadruple with Liverpool, already won the League Cup, in the FA Cup final, in the Champions League final, and going for the Premier League. They're three points behind Man City as it stands, so they are going to have to win today, that's for sure, against us. Like I said, there's absolutely no wiggle room now for Liverpool. They have to win every single game, you'd think, in the Premier League now, to even have a chance of winning the Premier League over Man City. I'm not a massive fan of Jurgen Klopp. I think he's quite entitled. I think he's a little bit arrogant. I think he fits in Liverpool quite well on that side of things, so I'd absolutely love it if we got one over on them today. Could even take a point, just, just halt them in their tracks just to cause a bit of an upset. I'd love that today. I'm not expecting it, no, but who knows? Let's be positive. Villa were fantastic against Burnley. I know Burnley are down there, they're really, really struggling, but we were good on Saturday. That away end was absolutely bouncing. He changed the team up a little bit. Buendia came in, he was fantastic. Danny Ings is scoring goals for fun. Watkins as well. Three home games in nine days. It'd be nice to get down to Villa Park quite a bit over the next week or two. And, uh... Just have a bit of fun now towards the end of the season. We, I'd love to get 10th place. I'd love to get in that 10th place. I think we've got to play Palace next week. That'll have a massive say on whether we can do that or not. If you do want to enjoy the video, please do leave a like on it. That'd be massively appreciated. The support on the channel has been really, really good recently. So if we can try and hit 1,000 likes, that'd be massively, massively appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already as well on the road to 50,000 subscribers. And of course, go and check out Luke1977. Some lovely gear over there on Luke. Top link in the description and use the code max 20 to get 20% off and that works on all for sale items as well so there's some great great bargains to be had over there at Lou. Without further ado, under the lights, summer evening of the villa. They have had a slightly weaker team and we've got very defensive. I don't hold out much hope, I don't think anyone does, but it doesn't really matter. There's nothing to lose. If we have a good performance, that's all I'm bothered about. I'll go 2-1 Liverpool. Um, nothing to lose, no Mo Salah. 2-2, um, two -two. the pressure's on them, so um, I'll take a point. Joker is an absolute joker. John Moss, 
horrible. Yeah. Mind the language, sorry. <laughs> All the bells on the interruption. So was it three minutes in we took the lead? Um, we I should've... thought it was us. Can I... Sorry, can I just clarify? I thought it was offside, that's why I stopped celebrating. Because Marcel oh, had oh, it go in, I was like, I think the clip's still rolling because we thought yeah. he should have scored. I think and there's a penalty shout. Shot. Then as the ball comes in, it's a penalty shot, and Louis smashes it in. We go, oh yeah. Either way, we've been very, very good. The we're, game plan is spot on. The goal we've conceded is really That's sloppy. Poor. Concentration. We will get something from this. And if we lose 2 1, it's got to the point now where I think I'm really content with how we've played. 100%. Today. Positive. No matter that. on the floor. Goodness, goodness gracious. Come on, man. Seven minutes to go. Yeah! We knew it. We knew it. Offside. I think we all knew it. Let's go. You know what? I'm, I'm just, just annoying being the nearly team, isn't it? We saw it against Man City at Villa Park earlier on in the season, where again it was a similar sort of performance. Played really, really well. Gave him a great game, but oh, if the Carney chance went in, you know, just nearly moments. Ings tonight, that header in the first half, that one-on-one -on -one in the second half where it was a really poor first touch. They're nearly moments if they come off. We beat Liverpool tonight, and it's just frustrating. Um, they were there for the taking. I think, like I mentioned, the Ings chances. We had the best chances in the game. That's the most frustrating thing. Taking the lead early, absolutely fantastic. Absolute carnage. Um, Louise gets the goal. I think I was a little bit confused I because I saw John Moss with his hands in the air, and um, I thought he'd give him like an offside or something. But I think it was because Watkins had been fouled, so it was like for an advantage from the penalty or whatever it was. So. Yeah, but just to concede another early goal following that, literally just three minutes later, I think it was the sixth minute, Matip scores, and that's a horrible goal as well. It just pings around, and of course it falls to one of them every time. I thought we reacted really, really well. I think we gave them a great game, and it's just annoying that we just can't get over the line, not even take a point off these sides. Liverpool fans didn't make a noise, really, until they scored the second, and the second one's too easy as well. Louise, I think, just leaves uh, Mane free in the box, and it's a good header. The subs tonight were a little bit confusing. Uh, Buendia didn't do too much when he came on. Um, but obviously I don't mind that sub at all. The Carney one, the, the Carney coming on and, and, and taking Nakamba's place. I get Nakamba coming off because he hasn't had a lot of football. He's obviously knackered. Um, but Carney coming on and Louise going back to the number six. I thought Louise had a really decent game in the number eight role, but taking him back... I don't know. I, I just couldn't really get my head around it. Big chance to go into 10th on uh, Sunday with Palace. Um, I'm in a box for that game, luckily, so uh, very honoured to be there. It should be a very, very decent one on Sunday. That's the next game, though, of course. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like on the video. Let me know your thoughts on the game. Frustrating one tonight, but I shall see you Sunday for Palace at home of the Villa. <laughs>